Here are five neat projects for developers this week. First, oh my Git, an open source game for learning Git. This thing is really neat. It's a fun and interactive game for learning all of the aspects of Git. You'll get into some really interesting commands to how you can reconcile your branches to learn Git commands that you might have otherwise overlooked with your basic commit add and so forth. So give this a try at ohmygit.org. Next up is mounting animation without layout shifts from level up tutorials. This is a blog post that I wrote about how you can prevent layout shifting from happening when mounting and unmounting animated components. Next up is one of two presentation tools. This is at beta.tome.app. Stop designing slides and start telling stories. This interface is going to look really familiar in just a second here as we show off the next one. But this is one of two tools that can help you level up the type of presentations, product launches, releases, or slides, anything you have to be showing off to the public allows you to work off your phone. It allows you to drop in Figma files, work in real video, basically anything you need for product and design reviews, company strategy, customer education, sales decks and pitches, and complex idea sharing. Really neat. And along the same lines is another app called IA Presenter. IA Presenter is very similar in its interface. In fact, if you see this, let's get past this video here, um, this hype video. They have the same approach here with the slides on the sides. And what you're doing is mostly worrying about the content. And then Presenter is going to kind of take care of the rest to making your presentation actually look good. This is a really interesting tool. It's in beta right now as well. You can check this out at ia.net, which is an incredible URL, actually. So give this a try, I think, or sign up for the beta, at least. These types of tools are, are really interesting to me right now, considering there's a couple of new players in the game. Next up and last but not least is Rome at Rome.tools. Rome is a lot of things. In fact, just check out the video below this if you want to see exactly what Rome is. But Currently, it's a JavaScript and TypeScript formatter and linter. Eventually, it will be a compiler, bundler, and testing library for JSON, HTML, and CSS, JavaScript, and TypeScript as well. From the creator of Babel, here is Rome. It's some new tooling for the web. And it's supposedly quite a bit faster, 25 times faster. So give it a try. If you want five things in your mailbox every single week, head on over to leveluptutorials.com and sign up for our newsletter where we give you a text version of this list as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.